Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, we're back on the Big Boar Blacked Out 372 project. I've done a little more bench tuning on it this morning. Um, well, it's afternoon now. I've been busy. It's been kind of hot here, so it's going to get hotter. It is what it is. It'll be summertime in a day or two. Um, or actually, summertime. But we're going to bar this up. I'm not looking to achieve maximum greatness here today. I just want to get it in a piece of wood, fill it out, see what's up, see what we've got. Um, we might as well put that on right. So somebody don't sew your bars on upside down. Trust me, it would happen. This is an okay chain, it's a loop of the Duke's chain of ground, but I think I've cut with it. It's sharp, but it ain't like, I don't know, race chain or nothing status. Uh, it'll work good for what we're doing here today. Just to see if we can throw some chips at this thing. And if we don't like it, we can always bring it in and work on it. That's the beauty behind it. Oh, there definitely does work on it. Got a little all over the What was the chances of that happening? Just right on right in the dale. <laughs> Usually slim the mud for me. And honestly, I am just now recovering from whatever went on last week. All I know is I got out in the sun and overdone it and was sick for a freaking week. It happens, I guess. No appetite for wood eat. I get like this horrible fever. <laughs> Had a fever for like three days straight. Pretty sure it was either heat exhaustion or sun poisoning one or the other, both. I don't know. It wasn't fun. Been out in the sun for three or four days straight, so might have had something to do with it. When I was younger, the sun never bothered me. Never. The cutters feel pretty good. I think it's a chain that I was experimenting on. It's just got the least little bit of a hook. Like, I mean the least little bit of a hook. Seemed like it was a real, real smooth cutting chain. But, um, if you miss the rest of the build, these two videos or three prior to this, a tear down, the reassembly, and then one showing what was done to it. It's basically built around a set of John Deere 2165 cases, which are indeed the same as a 372, 365, 371 case. There's no real differences. You can mix and match. I've got video showing where I've done it. Um, farmer Tech plastic, uh, Farmer Tech cylinder. I got asked, it is a little red barn piston. I have my opinions on those. I have had one fail in a saw, but it was a pretty extreme build and I should have known better to use the piston in it that I'd put in it. Um, this one's more of a torque build, a work saw build, but you could put an eight pin on it, you know, and lean it out and go have fun with it as well. It will not be a slow saw by any means, but um, OEM crankshaft, flywheel, clutch, oiler, um, new bearings, seals, crankcase gasket, um, carburetor, um, a lot of good parts thrown at it, but uh, anyway, what I've got, I've not even measured it, we're probably looking at a foot of poplar, it's naughty, it's been set in a while, it's sound, it's not rotten, it's not like the cheese you see most people cutting. Um, I've got bigger logs, I've got longer bars, it's just really really hot. 
Um, just ain't worth my time dragging them out just to try to impress somebody for what I'm doing today. And again, it's only bench tuned that may get back there and go all the hill and I have to stop and retune it. Um, is what it is. And I got asked if I was going to sell the saw. Probably will once I get any issues that it may have worked out of it. Um, one problem I found is there's a bolt running off on the top of the crankcases over here. That's just kind of a dummy bolt down in there, just so it doesn't look funny with a bolt missing. But it's got two good ones in the back holding it. And this screw back here was stripped out. I'm going to have to redo it. I'm probably just going to drill it out and go up to an M6 and be done with it. But other than that, everything else seemed to be just fine and dandy on it. But uh, putting it together out of a bunch of junk, I've got two little minor problems. And say we're doing pretty good. Uh, but with that said, let's go see if this thing will throw some chips. If not, we'll come back and work on the chain. All right, guys, I hope I've got y'all framed up good enough. It's hard to see back here in the direct sunlight as far as the camera monitor. As you can see, this thing is naughty. My hand, just to judge how big it is. Nothing big. guys I'd say for the first few shakedown runs and that was the very first time I'd had it in a piece of wood I'd say it done pretty good um, it does act like it might want to touch more fuel on the low jet but we don't have a full ring seat don't have full case compression yet so um, I'm just gonna leave it be and run it a little bit and go from there um, but with that said, it's a good strong running saw. Um, I did make it fall on its face once, but I was dogging straight up into a big knot on it. It is what it is. I think about anything <laughs> would have stalled out the way I was doing it. But um, she seems pretty strong. You can let off the trigger right in the cut and hit it, and it just take right off again. And I'm pretty sure it would do that in oak or hickory or whatever. Um, I don't really have any here to cut on or we would uh, let's see uh, that one up cut if you can't tell by the video I was trying to stall the saw out I wanted to see if I could make it fall on its face and had no luck I was really testing the limits of the suspension on that saw 
uh, the log stand was all but all of it coming up off of the ground with the log um, went right back into a down cut saw never had a hook up just kept right on chugging uh, again when building a race saw just wanted a good torquey zippy snappy work saw and as you can see that's what we got but um, you guys will probably see more of this one I'll probably get it out and around a little more before I decide what I'm gonna do with it if I do sell it it's not gonna be an expensive saw by no means at all because I ain't got a whole hell of a lot in it just my time and you know what handful of new parts I've got in it um, you know you're probably looking at a price of you know at least the price of one of the blue saws new or something uh, maybe a little more than that just to compensate my labor and time on it but um, ain't looking to make no killing on these things but I know some people were interested you know if you really 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 are interested in it just shoot me an email I do have a 365 I'm going to build. I do have a bunch more saws over there I'm going to go through and let go of. But anyway, guys, I've rambled enough. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Everybody have a good one.